You should never eat this food. Welcome back. Charlie here. From unhygienic food preparation to straight up fake foods. See if you will still eat your favorite foods after knowing how some people make them. First, let's look at fried chicken. Who doesn't love delicious crispy fried chicken? Well, in some places, you should never eat it. That's because it's cooked in this. This oil is coming from a gutter. It sounds crazy, but in some countries, sewer oil is common. Companies buy used oil from sewers, lard factories, and industrial lubricant factories. That same oil is then used to cook the fried chicken that millions of people eat. This is surprisingly common in China and Taiwan. Most of the time, the people eating it have no idea. All of a sudden, fried chicken doesn't seem so finger-licking good. But an even worse food you may want to stop eating is dough. Dough is used to make breads and pastries, but how is it actually made? Normally, dough is kneaded in a factory or by hand, but these guys are kneading dough with their feet. Not only are they kneading dough with their feet, they're doing it on a dirty floor. This is common in India and Bangladesh, especially when bread factories can't afford a machine. So to save time and money, they do it using their feet. It turns out that handmade artisan bread might actually be feet made instead. This is obviously very unhygienic, but because of lax food laws in India, people have no idea. To make matters worse, in this factory, flies are all over the bread, and some of these flies may even lay eggs inside this bread before it's baked. So enjoy the extra insect protein, I guess. Unhygienic foods are bad, but some foods you eat might be just flat out fake. Take these eggs, for example. It turns out some eggs are not laid by chickens at all. Instead, they're man-made, using dangerous ingredients. Many fake eggs have been sold in China recently. They're made from gelatin and food coloring, as well as other harmful chemicals, including paraffin wax and calcium carbonate. These are used to make the shell. The egg whites are made from resin, starch, algae extract, and coagulants. The egg yolk is made from rubber resin, with yellow dye and alum mixed mixed in. Alum is an especially toxic compound. When they're cracked open, they do look quite similar to a real egg. But mix it together and you'll notice something is not quite right. It almost has a strange jelly texture and a bizarre smell. Eating these chemicals can be very bad for your health. So how can you tell if your eggs are real or fake? Well, for one, real eggs will have a slight smell. Also, real eggs will have slight imperfections on their shells. While fake eggs will be unnaturally smooth, and even shaped. Fake eggs also won't have the membrane lining you'll find under real eggshells. These fake Chinese eggs are spreading to other countries around the world, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for any extra surprises. Unfortunately, eggs aren't the only foods that are faked. Another commonly faked food is walnuts. It's becoming common for people to find concrete inside their walnut shells. Sellers buy used walnut shells. They then put concrete inside and then glue the shells back together. This trick makes scammers a ton of money. Walnuts are sold by weight, so the heavy, concrete-filled shells can be expensive. These fake walnuts have been found in many areas of China. People who have bitten into these walnuts to open them have cracked their teeth. So always make sure your walnuts are real before you take them home. Wasting money on fake walnuts might just make you go nuts. Another dangerous food to avoid is rice. Is the rice you're eating real? The answer may surprise you. In various countries, including China and India, fake rice is becoming common. It's sometimes made from tiny pieces of rolled up paper, making an already cheap product even cheaper. But if you think paper rice is bad, then think again. Some fake rice is made from synthetic resin, which is toxic to humans. Synthetic resin is basically plastic, so not the kind of thing you want to be eating. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this has been sold 
in China and Korea. Some sellers even mix real rice into the fake rice, making it harder to see what's real and what's fake. Some of this fake rice has even been exported to other countries, including Nigeria and other African countries. You can tell if your rice is fake if it starts burning in the pan when you heat it up. Okay, those foods were bad, but surely a food that can't be bad for you is vegetables. Well, let me ask you a question. If you were going to buy vegetables and saw these two options, which one would you pick? Probably this one. Most people pick the brightest green vegetable because it looks the best. Sellers know this and use a synthetic dye to trick you. These dyes can be toxic for humans to eat, but sellers do it to make their produce look more fresh. This has been found in China and India. It's crazy how it just rubs off with a tissue. So it turns out vegetables might not always be good for you. Luckily, it's easy to know if these vegetables are fake. If their color literally comes off in your hand, then don't buy it. Speaking of dye, you may know that dead bodies are preserved using toxic embalmers. Well, these are also used on a food that you might eat. Fishermen in Indonesia sometimes use these embalmers to keep fish looking fresh for longer. These embalmers are disgusting and toxic, but they may be all over your fish. Would you like some seasoning to go with that toxic fish? Well, it turns out not even seasonings are safe. Market sellers in China have been found trying to pass off flour as salt and dried up mud as pepper. But that's not the worst fake salt in China. Some vendors have been selling industrial salt as table salt. They may look similar, but they're completely different. Industrial salt is normally used for cleaning or for making products like bleach and tires. Industrial salt is very toxic and causes cancer. If you eat enough, industrial salt can even end your life. So if your salt tastes suspicious, then throw it away. Industrial salt being sold as table salt is common in China and Taiwan. So be vigilant and avoid this assault on your health. If that wasn't bad enough, sometimes the food you're seasoning is also faked. In China, there have been various instances of people passing off pork as beef. Beef is far more expensive than pork. So buying pork and selling it to you as beef makes sellers a ton of money. In 2013, police in Shangxi, China confiscated more than 20,000 kilograms of fake beef. The beef was actually pork which had been soaked in paraffin wax, industrial salt, and other chemicals. This fake beef is very dangerous to consume. It also breaks some people's religious beliefs. In certain religions, you can't eat pork. So if people think they're eating beef when really it's pork, this is a big problem. Their religious rules would be violated without them even knowing. All of that nasty fake food might make you want to eat a sweet treat. For example, some delicious chutney. Well, take a look at how this man makes his chutney. The water he's getting for the chutney is literally from a toilet. That's right, this guy's chutney is literally made using toilet water. This Indian street food seller was exposed online for this. But despite this video being posted on social media, he is still operating to this day. But speaking of toilets, you might be surprised by this last crazy food. These are not normal eggs. In fact, they are known as virgin boy eggs. They are a delicacy in China, and they are made with schoolboy's urine. That's right, this urine is collected in buckets from schools. It is then put into a pot with eggs to soak for several hours. They do this until the egg whites become yellow and the yolks turn green. They're not only a delicacy, but some also say these have health benefits. If you eat this, you will not get heat stroke. These eggs cooked in urine are fragrant. They're good for your health. I'm not saying they don't, but I think I'm gonna have to pass. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these foods was the most surprising. I've been Charlie. Thanks for watching.